So unfortunately, it looks like OpenSea is cracking down on the ability to bulk upload your NFTs en masse. And in this video, I'm gonna outline the exact measures they've introduced in order to block that sort of activity. Anyways, if this video saved you some time, then go ahead and feel free to subscribe. Thanks. So up until this point, there had been two primary ways to bulk upload your NFTs. One was to use a mouse recording software solution that would essentially mimic your clicks in the browser, which would allow you to programmatically upload your NFTs. And then the second was to use a automated testing solution called Selenium, which actually integrates with Chrome and similarly interacts with the Chrome web browser to upload your NFTs. And I had been recently working working on my own variation of the Chrome WebDriver approach when I stumbled upon the fact that you now need to pass a reCAPTCHA every single time you want to upload a new NFT. Of course, I didn't let that stop me and I immediately started hacking on solutions and I started rewriting the OpenSea front end code and I was actually able to bypass the need for CAPTCHA altogether. Anyways, I'll give credit where credit's due because it does look like OpenSea is actually utilizing CAPTCHA in the most secure way. But it looks like my attempts to bypass CAPTCHA were in vain. And as of now, I'm just not aware of any ways that you're gonna be able to bulk upload your NFTs short of finding a loophole within the OpenSea code, but I'm not seeing any at this point in time. Hopefully in the future, the OpenSea API will support minting of NFT assets so we can write SaaS solutions to automate a lot of this work on our behalf. Yeah, so as I mentioned, I was working on a script to automate bulk uploads of NFTs and I can show you that here. So basically you can just apply your external collection URL and then you just use a naming format and then you select the folder containing the images that you want to upload. So I was doing desktop, OpenSea, and you can see there was one in here called 1.jpg. I was choosing that. I was hitting Polygon Blockchain. And then you just have to configure the browser. So this launches you over to OpenSea.io. And then you just got to make sure that you are connected over MetaMask. And then you just come over to the collection page. And then what you should have been able to do is just click start. And you can see it's gonna go ahead and add an item. It's gonna upload the item. But this is where it gets stuck at the CAPTCHA. I even tried to bypass this by modifying the front end code. And I was actually able to do that so in Chrome, there's a concept called local overrides. So you can actually modify source code files. So, so you can search for the file in question. If we search for some of the verbiage that shows up in that modal, then we should see the JavaScript responsible for triggering that modal. So if we select the file, and pretend to upload it here. We're gonna get that modal, the recaption modal. So we know it has the text almost done. So if we take this and do a deep search, we should find the JavaScript file responsible for that modal. Okay, and then there's this file here. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna beautify it bring it back over and then edit it by removing the requirement for the CAPTCHA modal. And then you save that. And I just got rid of the section that triggers the modal and bypass that. So if I refresh the page and go through the steps, I shouldn't be required to submit the recaptcha. The problem is the back end still throws an error because they're actually doing CAPTCHA the right way. So we got past the CAPTCHA modal, but we still got the back end modal. We still got the back end error. 
If you look at this network request, you can see it's posting the CAPTCHA token. When we create the asset, it's posting the CAPTCHA token and you can see it's blank here. And in the response, it says failed CAPTCHA. They're actually doing it the right way with server side in a way that we can't bypass because every single time you wanna mint an asset, they're taking that new token and then server side, they're pinging Google and saying, hey, is this a valid token? And because of the way CAPTCHA works, a token only lasts two minutes and it can only be validated once. So you can't take a token and reuse it, which is something else I tried. It's only valid for two minutes and it can only be validated once. Because I took the token and I just stuffed it in there and I tried to issue more NFTs with a single token, but it could only be used once. So the only way around this would be to create an AI that can solve the CAPTCHA which is possible, but probably a larger undertaking than I'm willing to put into it.